everyone, it's Wendy. I've got a quick DIY for you in honor of the Feast of the Rosary. And we're gonna use this little Dollar Tree plaque with a holder or a hanger thing there. And we're gonna paint it with our Apple Barrel black paint using our silhouette. We're gonna cut out a little saying, it's kind of funny, and you'll see that in a few. Um, the black, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do and I ended up adding some white around the sides too, but the black's just to cover the blue words. We're gonna keep it black, but it's a pretty cute little plaque. It's got a little sawtooth hanger and the screw keeps in the little wooden dowel thingy to hold the rosary. Um, and first I just went over the black letters with the black paint and it covered pretty well. Um, I noticed, well, it did need two coats, but I noticed, or originally I was gonna keep the outer lines, but they're a little more red than I realized. So as soon as the black went on there, um, I, I figured out that I wanted to get rid of the, the brownish red lines that are outlining the plaque. So I just went ahead and took some of the Waverly white chalk paint and went over it with the sponge, the makeup sponge. And actually, the, it really does a good, a good job of keeping the lines very straight. So obviously I had to do very straight lines against the black. Went out of the lines one time and so I just fixed her back up and added some black to correct that. Then I went back in and took uh, some more of the black and kind of gave it an enamel wear look and just rubbing it around the edges. It's pretty thin, but it was just enough of a, a little lip that it took the paint very well. And so I just went all the way around and it's not dry yet, but there it is. And then I went to my silhouette um, sweet and made the cutout and I had seen this on a coffee mug and I loved it. Um, I got my fonts from defont.com and you can actually download any of the fonts that you like. Um, this one, I can't remember the name of the cursive writing, but the other one was Grinched 2.0. So it's actually like the uh, font from the Grinch but I didn't if you look between the P and the U right there where I froze it there and a little bit in some other places I didn't quite weld it correctly because I had left a couple of letters out so just make sure that you make the whole thing uh, a grouping before you weld it and then that way you won't have any of those little holes in your vinyl now this transfer tape, I've had issues with it for ever, ever since I first purchased my Cameo. And so I just really have, have to struggle with it and get it off. It's very tedious. And it actually took me about seven to 10 minutes just to get the letters, the vinyl from the backing onto the transfer tape. So. I have to research how to get that done better. But now I'm just going to place it onto the dry black paint and just get it centered and where you want it to be. And I don't know if you saw it, but it says, Hail Mary, full of grace, punch the devil in the face. So I thought that was so cute when I saw it on this mug. But then you just take off the transfer tape, leaving the vinyl on the plaque. And there was a little piece that came on off with the tape and so I just had to fix that. So now I'm just adding a bow, a simple bow. This is just out of my ribbon stock that I have and I kind of hoard ribbon, but there's always a use for it. And you see here, this is a real short one and it was perfect. So there it is. And now I can just hang this up and have my rosary hanging and ready to go. And as a reminder that I need to pray the rosary. I also saw on another DIY video, somebody had put um, Ivy Wed 
and so you can put it near your sink or in the kitchen somewhere and when you wash the dishes you can hang your ring on there too so that's another idea if you if you don't want to use it as a rosary holder but this is near my um, command station when you walk into the door so it reminds us every day that we need to say the rosary So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe by hitting the big red button. And you can hit the bell as well and it'll remind you or let you know every time that we have a new video. Have a blessed day everyone. Bye.